Greetings, my dear code adventurers. Mia here. Today's quest is about character customization. For design, we'll be using the awfully sweet free character pack for our heroes and the nice free backgrounds from Noriniko Games, both of which you can find links to right below this video. Ready to embark on this digital odyssey? Should you seek guidance or wish to talk with me? Let your words be known in the comments below. Let the adventure begin. Team, we're about to set the default indices in the variable planes, the foundation of our character customization module. This step is crucial for defining the starting points for each attribute. Nico, prepare to input the coordinates. I shall input my password. Coordinates locked in, Mia. Setting the indices now. By starting all indices at zero, we ensure that every customization starts from a clean, uniform base. It's like setting our gear to default before a mission, ensuring we can customize any aspect from scratch. Those default indices are now set, forming the backbone of our customization capabilities. This setup allows us to navigate and modify character appearances with precision. It's like having a map and compass in the world of code. Vital for our journey ahead. The longest journey. Brace yourselves, team. We're moving deeper into this code of customization. Now, it's time to define the visual elements that our heroes will use to personalize their avatars. MB, you're up for the task? Prepare to define our image lists. Let's gather our visual assets. These image lists are like our armory, each containing the tools we need to visually transform our characters. I'll define them one by one. Each list is meticulously prepared, allowing us to swap features with precision. This modular approach ensures we can adapt to any scenario or preference. Excellent work! With these lists ready, we've essentially created a visual database for our customization module. These resources are now at our disposal, ready to be called upon as we continue our journey. Remember, these tools are crucial for building the outward expressions of our characters, making each one unique and reflective of the user's choices. Well, that's an easy choice! Team, with our visual assets defined, it's time to organize them into a mighty tool. The Customization Dictionary. This will be our central hub for accessing these images swiftly and efficiently. Nico, take the lead and show us how it's done.
Roger that, Mia. Let's compile our resources. By placing these image lists into a dictionary, we create a structured storage that allows us to retrieve any item instantly. Watch closely as I organize our arsenal. Become arsenal. This is like mapping out the territories of a new world. Each category, hair, skin, eyes and clothes, now has its own domain within our dictionary. This means we can navigate and alter appearances with just a few commands. Fantastic! Our customization dictionary is now operational. It's our command center for all visual transformations. With this setup, you, our brave viewers, can seamlessly switch between different looks for your characters, making each interaction in your game uniquely captivating. Remember, efficient coding practices like these not only save time but also enhance the gaming experience by making everything run smoother. Smooth. Now that we have our dictionary ready, it's time to anchor our images in the virtual space of our game. Correct placement is key to ensuring that everything looks just right. Even you're on point for setting the base coordinates. Show us how it's done. Understood, Mia. Setting precise coordinates ensures that our customization options are not only visible but also aesthetically pleasing. I'll set the base positions now, which will serve as the foundation for all our image transformations. By establishing these coordinates, Ivan is creating a standard layout from which all customization items will be aligned. This ensures consistency across the board, no matter which item our players choose to customize. Well done, Yvonne. With these base coordinates set, we have laid down the groundwork for visual consistency in our game. These coordinates will ensure that every customization element appears in its rightful place contribute into a seamless and engaging player experience. Amazing experience. Next, we'll apply these coordinates to transform the placement of each customization option dynamically. Lyra, it's your turn to shine. Let's implement these transformations and bring our characters to life. Thanks, Mia. With these base coordinates set, I'll now apply them across all our customization categories. This will ensure that no matter which attribute our players choose to change, it will always appear perfectly placed. Watch as I set up the transformations for hair, skin, eyes, and clothes. Lyra is using a loop to apply the same transformation settings to each category. This efficient approach guarantees that our customization assets maintain uniformity and professionalism. Beautifully done! Now. All our visual elements will consistently appear where they should thanks to the transformations you've set. This not only makes our game look good, but also makes it easier for players to navigate. We're ensuring a top-notch experience by aligning every detail just right. Oh, right. As we advance, it's essential to implement a function that will fetch and transform our images according to the player's customization choices. Nico, you're tasked with creating this function. Got it, Mia. I'll define a function called get underscore image, which will be responsible for selecting the right image and applying our preset transformations based on the player's current selections. Let's dive into the code. Give me the code now.
Nico's function works by accessing global indices which track the player's current selection. It fetches the appropriate image from our organized lists and applies the transformation we defined earlier. This ensures that each customization option appears exactly where and how it's supposed to on the screen. If the index is out of the acceptable range, the game will inform us rather than crash. This makes our game more reliable and user-friendly. I see. Our adventure continues as we empower our players with the ability to dynamically change their character's appearance. Leira, your mission is to implement the function that lets players switch between images easily. Absolutely, Mia. I'm setting up a function called change underscore image, which will adjust the image based on the player's input, either moving right to the next item or left to the previous. Let's ensure our heroes can tailor their avatars with just a simple command. Lira's function smartly navigates through our dictionary of images. By incrementing or decrementing the index and then using modular operation, we ensure the selections wrap around smoothly. This means if you reach the end of the list and continue, you'll loop back to the start. <laughs> Well executed. With this function, our players can explore and experiment with their characters' looks in a fun and engaging way. This level of interactivity is what makes our game feel alive and responsive. Remember, it's these small details that enhance the overall gameplay experience. As we gear up for the final part of our customization module, it's time to build the interface where all the magic happens. Emmy, you'll lead the setup of our customization screen. Let's create a welcoming and intuitive environment for our players. Setting up an engaging customization screen is crucial for player satisfaction. We'll start by adding a background and then strategically place buttons for each category of customization. This way, players can easily navigate through their options. Here's how we'll do it. Let me see that.
by organizing the buttons within a horizontal box or H box. We ensure that the interface is both aesthetically pleasing and functional. Each button is clearly labeled and easy to access, making the customization process straightforward and enjoyable. Excellent setup! This screen is the portal through which players will express their creativity. By making the navigation intuitive, we enhance the player's experience, allowing them to dive into customization without any hassle. Moving forward, our next task is to bring our characters to visual life on the customization screen. Lyra, let's demonstrate how we use our get image function. Indeed, Mia. By calling the get underscore image function, we can fetch the right image along with its corresponding transformation. This way, each customization choice is accurately represented on screen. I'll add the images for skin, clothes, hair, and eyes. Right now. Each line here executes two major tasks, retrieving the image and its positional data through get underscore image, and then placing that image on the screen at the specified coordinate. This seamless integration ensures that each customization option is visually updated in real time. Time to flow. Fantastic execution, Lyra! Now, our players can see the changes they make instantly, which is a crucial aspect of interactive customization. As we enhance our customization interface, it's crucial to provide players with simple navigation tools. Let's set up the buttons that will allow players to cycle through different options within each category. Of course, Mia. We'll place two image buttons on the screen. One to scroll left and the other to scroll right through the customization options. These buttons will be linked to our change underscore image function, making it easy for players to explore all the available choices. Let's implement these controls. That's pretty impressive. No! These buttons are strategically placed to be intuitive for the user. The left button allows users to go back and revisit previous options, while the right button moves them forward to explore new ones. 
This setup ensures a fluid, user-friendly navigation experience. Excellent work! With these buttons in place our players can smoothly transition between options, providing them with a sense of control and freedom as they customize their characters. This kind of user engagement is key to making our game both enjoyable and memorable. See what you'll do next. Now that our customization interface is fully equipped with dynamic images and navigational buttons, it's time to bring it all to light. Yuvan, you're in charge of launching our customization screen. Let's ensure our players can start customizing their characters right away. Understood, Mia. I'll make sure that as soon as our game starts, or whenever players choose to customize their characters, they'll be greeted by our well-crafted customization. Here's the simple yet crucial code to kick things off. With this command we're calling the character underscore customization screen to load. This means whenever players enter the customization mode, they'll immediately see the interface we've built, complete with all the options and functionalities ready for interaction. With this setup, our players can jump right into personalizing their characters, making each gaming experience uniquely their own. Thank you, team, for your hard work and dedication in building this module. Let's get ready to share it with the world. Thank you so much for watching the video. Your patience and support mean everything. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for free to stay updated on new content.